In this video, I am going to show you few command prompt batch scripts that will make you appear like a pro. So let's get started. What we'll do, let's open the command prompt by typing cmd. Now in the command prompt, if you see, the entire command prompt is appearing in black and white. What if I would like to change its color? Is it something possible? Yes, it is possible. So let's, let me show you how to get few colors onto it. So simply type help color. And you have got various different options here, right? You see uh, bright white, light blue and green. So green is something uh, I generally like. So when you make your color, let's say I will type color A, hit on enter. What is happening? Everything becoming green. Now in this kind of a command prompt, when I generally type, if some of my friends say, how did you really do that? So these are very simple and definitely makes you appear pretty cool. Now let me show you something uh, beyond this. Let's say uh, what is happening here, you can see it is uh, saying C drive uses Rakesh user and on the top it is saying command prompt, okay. I would like I would like to really make some more changes to it. So how to do it? Let me show you. For this, there is something called a prompt, okay. Simply say help prompt, okay. So these are the different options that you have. Now let's say let me uh, make a bit of changes. Instead of this, I would like to appear myself as Mr. Scripto something like that okay uh, so how to do that so simply type the command prompt and write whatever you like mr scripter and then whatever symbol you need let's say i would need a this symbol so i will say uh, dollar g okay so the moment i hit on enter look at it how it has changed okay instead of saying that c drive which is like old fashioned now you see something cool right great now i would also like to change the title here right so for that all you have to simply say title and i will say mr scripto something like that okay so what is happening on the top you can see mr scripto so this is quite cool now i'll show you some a uh, few more tricks okay now all of this um, we will come to the batch script in the batch script how to do it so first of all let's create a, create a batch script file uh, let me save this if you have a notepad you can use it so open a notepad and simply save that notepad let's say i'm going to say uh, command prompt batch script dot bat okay and save it so let's write the script for example echo off and i would like to say uh, hi rakesh okay hi rakesh done and then i will say pause now if you save this particular file and if you simply run this particular file what is happening your command prompt is still opening in what black in color so all the things that we have learned how do i add it here it is pretty simple simply say color a color a escape and then let's type uh, let's say give it a title uh, mr scripter something like that okay now now look at it how this is going to work save it and run it now if you see this you can see the title has come and uh, it is appearing in green in color so interesting right now let's learn one more uh, uh, trick okay for example if i ask you hey create a folder okay for example i will say create a folder called mr rakesh let's say and this folder should be hidden so if i tell you to uh, generally to hide files so how do you do it you right click properties and hidden the problem with this kind of hidden files is if you if somebody goes and enable hidden files then they will be able to see those hidden files okay so there is no use of really hiding a file in that way so uh, how to really hide it like a pro so let me show you um, this can be easily done so let me close this and uh, yeah so for this um, let, let me use this window and let's let's write something there is something called a prompt okay Oh, sorry at trip there is something called at trip hit on enter and this has couple of options so i have to hide the file for that all i have to write at trip and then there is something called plus h plus h means plus means sets an attribute minus means clears the attribute so i'm writing plus and then h means hidden files attribute okay and then i will write plus s means process matching files in the current folder and all subfolders and then i'll give it the folder name so here it is mr rakesh right so if i hit on enter now if i go back to the file file not found mr rakesh let me see 
let me rename the file to something else let's say rakesh1 okay rakesh1 keep it simple and uh, let's type it let's put the file name as rakesh1 okay now this got executed okay so why it is not getting executed tell me what is the problem here the problem is this you have to first go to that specific folder okay uh, and then write this command okay now it got executed if you go here the file is gone okay now to, how do you get the file back same thing instead of plus h all you do simply make it to minus h okay so i will say minus and then i'll go here and simply say minus and hit on enter got executed and the file should be back interesting right okay so uh, many many uh, important things you have learned now let me show you one more important thing okay let me clear the screen cls and let's say if i type ip config okay hit on enter so here the entire ip uh, thing would come what if i would like to save this to a text file you are running something and that will get saved in a text file so how to do that it is pretty simple all you have to do, do is simply type ip config and put this um, you know greater than symbol twice and then here i am going to ip details dot txt so if i hit on enter what would happen all that was appearing in the command prompt now th there will be a file got created will get created called ip and inside that i will be able to see it so if i hit on enter okay got executed now you can see there is a ip detail txt file got created now if i open this specific file all the details are available all right so this is very interesting so now you have learned so many different different interesting things in the uh, command prompt bash script uh, you know how to implement and the same things you can write it here in the code also so anybody writes the code in the bash script and double clicks it will automatically do the job how it is defined all right guys so thank you so much for learning let's continue on to our next video bye bye